place all parts in a cleared area removing the packing materials. Do not dispose of the packing materials until you finish all assembly steps. Assembly requires two persons. To avoid damaging parts, do not use power tools. Identify the wheel assembly. Attach the wheel assembly to the upright. Start both screws and then tighten them. Attach the wheel assembly on the opposite side to the upright in the same way. Slide the upright covers onto the uprights. Then, press the upright covers downward until they snap into place. Remove and save these screws from both uprights. Remove the upright crossbar from the tray and fan assembly. Carefully slide the upright crossbar between the uprights. Attach the upright crossbar with four crossbar screws. Start all four screws and then tighten them. Hold the tray and fan near the right upright. Wrap the tie in the hole in the side of the upright around the end of the fan wire. Next, pull the fan wire into the hole and out of the top of the right upright. Identify the tray and fan mounting screws. Do not confuse the mounting screws with the truss head screws. The truss head screws have a larger, flatter head. Attach the tray and fan to the upright crossbar with four mounting screws. Start all four screws and then tighten them. Attach the two handrails to the uprights 
with two of the screws that you removed from this location and two star washers. Do not fully tighten the screws yet. Be careful not to pinch the upright wire or the fan wire on the right side. Position the wires as shown. Then remove and discard the two pre-installed handlebar screws. Set the console assembly face down on a soft surface to avoid scratching the console assembly. Remove and discard the four pulse crossbar screws, then remove the pulse crossbar. crossbar is shown. Attach the pulse crossbar with the other two handlebar screws that you removed earlier and two large screws with star washers. Start all the screws, then tighten them. Then tighten the first two handlebar screws. With the help of a second person, hold the console assembly near the handrails. Connect the upright wire to the console wire. The connectors should slide together easily and snap into place. If they do not, turn one connector and try again. Connect the two fan wires, then remove any wire ties from the upright wire and the fan wire. Insert the excess wires into the upright. Attach the console assembly to the handrails with four screws and four star washers. Start all four screws and then tighten them. Be careful not to pinch the wires. Start four attachment screws into the pulse crossbar and then tighten them. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Set the handrail top cover on the handrail. Bring up the bottom cover to meet the top cover. Start four truss head screws into the bottom cover. Tighten all four screws. Install the handrail cover on the other side in the same way. Raise the frame to the storage position. 
of a second person hold the frame until the storage latch is completely installed. Remove the lower storage latch bolt. Orient the storage latch so that the decal is facing away from the treadmill. Attach the lower end of the storage latch to the bracket on the upright. Remove the upper latch bolt. Raise the storage latch to a vertical position. Align the upper end of the storage latch with the bracket on the frame. Insert the storage latch bolt through the bracket. This should push a spacer out the other end. Discard the spacer. Tighten the storage latch nut. Lower the frame.